What's up guys, Chris Killian here, and today we're talking about my favorite Harry Potter film, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Shut up! Shut up! Even if it's not your favorite installment, and it should be, there's still a lot of fun facts about The Prisoner of Azkaban you might not know. Director Alfonso Cuaron had never read the Harry Potter novels nor seen the first two movies when he was offered the job of director. It was Guillermo del Toro who convinced him, saying, don't be stupid, read them immediately. Sir Ian McKellen turned down the role of Dumbledore, not wanting to play another wizard after having played Gandalf in Lord of the Rings. He also stated it would have been inappropriate to take the role after Richard Harris because at one point, the late actor had called McKellen I warn you, this could be a wee bit of a shock. A dreadful actor. Alfonso Cuaron had the idea to let Harry, Ron, and Hermione wear everyday clothes more often than their Hogwarts uniforms in order to show more of the characters' personalities. He also gave the rest of the Hogwarts students permission to wear their uniforms any way they wanted to in order to bring a greater sense of realism to the wizard school, hence some of the students wear the uniforms very neatly while others have their shirts and ties hanging out. Aware of his fondness for music, Gary Oldman presented Daniel Radcliffe with a bass guitar as a gift when they met. Wow, wish one of my idols would gift me a guitar when they meet me. Alfonso Cuaron had the idea that when the Dementors approached the Hogwarts Express, the rain would turn to ice. However, due to his thick Mexican accent, the visual effects team misheard ice as eyes and went as far to draft a storyboard which depicted eyes falling from the sky. Originally, the script called for Hermione to slap Draco Malfoy as opposed to punching him. During rehearsal for the scene, Tom Felton told Emma Watson to slap him. However, he'd not intended for her to actually hit him and thus was taken by surprise when Emma smacked him across the face as hard as she could. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Malfoy, you okay? Let's go! Oh. The tattoos on Sirius Black's body and hands are borrowed from Russian prison gangs. They are markings which identify the person as a man to be feared and respected. Should have given him a black teardrop tattoo. In the book, it's mentioned that the werewolf resembles a normal wolf in appearance, saving for a few distinguishing traits. This is not the case in the movie, as Lupin, in his werewolf form, is shown as having a gaunt, humanoid, hairless appearance with a coyote-like face and no tail. Lupin says that he was very close with Harry's mother. J.K. Rowling later revealed that after graduating from Hogwarts, Lupin still found it difficult to find paying work because nobody, you know, wanted to employ a werewolf. So for a while, James and Lily financially supported him. J.K. Rowling has also said that Remus Lupin is one of her favorite characters and that if she could meet any of her characters in real life, she would likely choose him, which is not who I thought she'd go for. Which character would you want to meet from Harry Potter? Harry Potter? Do you know any more cool behind the scenes facts about Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban? If so, drop them in the comments. You can follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up or share it because it does help and a big giant thank you for watching.